Uh, hi guys, thanks for coming. I appreciate <laughs> overwhelming support. Um, as I hope all of you know by now, um, I've decided that this will be my last year playing. Um, it's bittersweet for me. As I tell people and now as I say it here, uh, there is some sadness. I'm also equally excited for what's to come. As most of you know, I've been doing this for quite a long time. So um, the time is right for me. I feel that it's right. Uh, I wanted to do it now and announce it now for a few reasons. One was I wanted to let the Galaxy have the appropriate amount of time to work on what they want to do next. And I thought that was important and fair for them. Um, also, I want to have some peace of mind going into the end of the season, and I want to enjoy the last few months of my career. So um, I made this decision a couple weeks ago before the Seattle game, and um, the way I've felt and played and enjoyed myself since I think is reflective of somewhat of a weight being lifted off my shoulders. and. Um, now it's time to enjoy the rest of the season, and there'd be no better way than to go out a champion. So that's where my focus and my goals are now. Thank you. Thanks, Landon. What we'll do is we'll open everything up for questions. We'll do everything in English first, and then uh, we'll make everyone available uh, in Spanish. Um, that being said, we'll open up with Martin. Hey, Landon. How are you Hi. Landon, when you said you made this decision before the Seattle game, but when did it first sort of become a possibility in your own mind that you wouldn't play on after this season? As you know, uh, last year I took a long break from the game, and that was really the first time that it was a real possibility. I wanted to get away and take some time to see how I would feel after getting away for a while. I came back rejuvenated, I came back refreshed. But after uh, a few months, even of last season, um, I started to have some feelings of, you know, it doesn't feel the same. There's not that same passion, that same energy. So I kept going um, and there was some ebbs and flows and there was some good times through the summer. I felt great, I was playing well. We had the Gold Cup, it was exciting. Um, and then as this year started, I was enjoying myself. I was, I think, playing well, doing well. And in the last few weeks, um, I started thinking a lot about it again. I was talking to my family quite a bit about it. And my gut just told me it was right, and it was the right time. And so after a lot of conversations, some pleasant, some not so pleasant, with friends, family, people I respect and admire. I felt that it was the right thing to do. And so um, it was important for me to, to do it and go with it and, um, and let people know so that everybody could plan accordingly. Scott? Scott Front? I think you said that uh, making the decision took a weight off your shoulder. Could you talk a little bit about that weight? What, what was that, that kind of uh, was sitting on top of you? Um, well, I, I think for the last few years I haven't had the same passion that uh, I had previously in my career. And to some extent, I had felt obligated to keep playing. Um, and so when that obligation part goes away, I realized that it was just relieving and I could just enjoy it as, as a player again, almost as a kid again. And I know it sounds simple and it sounds easy to say, but that was a big thing for me. Just even letting Chris and Dan know initially, letting Bruce know, letting other people know just made me feel better because I almost felt like I was holding on to this secret. And so just by doing that, it relieved a lot of that. And it's allowed me now to really enjoy myself 
And, um, and that's what I want. I'd rather three or four months of really playing well and enjoying myself than a couple of years of mediocrity and, and not being passionate about it. Adam? Lennon, what was the conversation like uh, with your teammates today? Just what was it like uh, emotionally for you to give that conversation to them? Unfortunately, um, some people felt the need to uh, release the news before I had the chance to tell my teammates this morning a few minutes before, which was uh, I, I was not happy about, uh, especially given the circumstances. However, uh, it was nice to have the opportunity to address all of them and uh, uh, even a few of them beforehand that I've been close with and here f with for a long time. And I'm sure this will take time for everything to set in with me and, and with some of my close teammates, but everyone was great. And, you know, they're, I, they, they know me as well as anybody, so they're genuinely happy for me. And um, they know that I have a lot of exciting things to do in life now um, after soccer, and they seem like they're genuinely excited for me. Right here. Uh, Landon, um, now that you're um, in the process of retirement, um, have you ever thought about um, entering coaching at some point, uh, still being a part of the game in that aspect? Well, if you look at Bruce, I don't think I want that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't recommend it either. <laughs> um, we'll see, potentially. Uh, I, I absolutely want to work with kids. Uh, I've spoke to Klein extensively about um, working with the academy and that for me would be a really good way to come full circle so I fully expect that that will happen at some point. Just right down here. Landon, what do you hope your legacy is on, on the game? Why do you ask me that? Um, what do I hope? Well, I hope that I, I hope that my teammates will say I was a good teammate. I hope that my coaches will say they enjoyed working with me and, and having me on their team. I hope that the fans enjoyed watching and could see how much I gave to this sport over the last 16 years. Um, and that's, that's, that's really it, because at the end of the day, the, the goals and the assists and accolades and that stuff, um, in the end, they don't mean a whole lot to me, but the relationships matter. And so I've always prided myself in being someone that guys wanted to be around. And so throughout the years, and even this year, when I hear comments about um, being bad locker room guy or or you hear people try to start those kind of things it, it those things bother me because I think that's the furthest thing from the truth I, I think my teammates have all enjoyed being around me and playing with me and I think they know how much I've dedicated to this whole thing Phil uh, Landon did you come into this season thinking uh, you might have to face this moment uh, and are you thinking that maybe this might be my last season? Um, no, I didn't. I was very excited coming into this season. And <clears throat> uh, obviously with the World Cup on the horizon, that was a, a big goal of mine. And um, I was excited for it. And I wouldn't have made the commitment I did last year if I didn't feel that way. So. I was excited about it, and I thought that that excitement would, would stay. Um, and it's not that it's completely gone, but uh, I just realized more and more that my gut was telling me it was, it was time to, to do this, and so that's where the decision was born. We'll go with Josie, then here up front. Landon, what do you imagine life without soccer is going to be like? Well, it's going to be a lot more time with my beautiful girlfriend who's here. 
Um, it's going to be a lot of time with my family and friends who uh, I haven't had a chance to spend a lot of time with over the years. A lot of travel. Um, it gets me excited thinking about it because, you know, we're, I've been talking to people throughout this process about the fact that a lot of people think we show up on Saturday night and play the game and it's and it's and just play the game and then we go home and we sit around all week and do nothing and it's it's the furthest thing from the truth for 16 years almost every decision I've made every hour of every day has revolved around how is this going to prepare me for tomorrow's training session or tomorrow's game and that weighs on you after a while so just having the freedom to do whatever you want is very exciting for me and I'm really looking forward to that I'll just go right here in the front row. <clears throat> uh, Landon, do you have a sense of the role that you've played in developing soccer here in America, fans' passions? Did you ever think that you'd see the day where the ratings are as high as they are and the interest is as high as it is? No, I didn't. I, I did not. I could not have envisioned that. Um, all three of these gentlemen have been around for a long time, just like I have, and they've seen the sport grow tremendously. I think of my first year in 2001, and uh, I guess the comparison is I was the All-Star game last night, and looking around and seeing the passion of the people, what the game means, who were playing, the players on the field next to me, and then thinking about 2001 in San Jose, and the crazy differences between the two. It's stunning. and. I think when you're in it, you're not aware of what's really going on. Um, the growth is slow, but it's significant. And now when you wake up and it's 2014 and you see what's going on, you see what happened this summer in the World Cup and the people paying attention, it's fascinating. And I know we live in a society that tells us we need to be the best now, but I think we should all be very proud of what we've accomplished over the uh, 18 years of this league. Scott. Bruce, could you uh, tell us what you think Landon's legacy is for uh, this country, this club? Uh, it, it's an unbelievable legacy. And uh, I have a hard time thinking that there's an, another American player that's accomplished as much as Landon has. You know, he's been uh, a champion at the club level. He's been uh, a force in the national team programs. And he's, he's been really the focal point of this game uh, in our country for so many years. He's accomplished everything an American player can accomplish at the, in this point in time. And uh, that's quite a legacy. You, you, we all know the statistics and those kind of accomplishments, but uh, on top of that, uh, he's a first-class person. So uh, that's an unbelievable legacy to have. 